there, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at a little problem. You sometimes get the VLOOKUP where it returns an ugly NA error. And you want to convert that NA to something like a blank cell or maybe a zero. Okay, let's start our scenario. So we've got a list of products and we're going to look them up in the store one table to return the relevant quantity sold. So if we look up to start with, and I'm looking up this product ID to start with, and I'm looking it up in this table. It's my table array. Now I need to fix that table array because I'm going to be copying this formula down. And I'll use the F4 key for that. But if the F4 key doesn't work for you, you can type the dollars in. Comma, col index number, the position of the column within our table array that contains the values we want to borrow. That's the quantity sold, which is the second column. Comma, Am I doing an approximate match or exact match? Well, I'm doing an exact match, which is false, or you can type in a zero. And I get my NA. And if I copy this down, you'll see I get quite a few NAs. Now the NA doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. It's just VLOOKUP's way of telling you there is no match for this product ID in the store one table. So how do I get rid of the ugly NA, convert it to something a little bit more professional looking. Well, the classic way of doing that is with the if error function. And I'm putting the if error function in front of VLOOKUP. I'm actually nesting the VLOOKUP function within the if error function. Now, the first argument is the value argument, and that's actually our VLOOKUP comma. Then we have the value of error. So that's what you want to convert the NA into. And if you want a blank cell, that's an empty text string. Two double inverted commas, nothing in between. Close the bracket, press enter, copy this down, and you can see all the NAs disappear. If you want a zero, put a zero in there instead. Copy it down, you've got zeros instead of the NA. Now, if error is a good way to go, but it does mask other errors, such as rare for value. So if there was a more serious problem with one of your formulas, instead of showing that error, you'd get a zero, which could be an issue. A more precise way to deal with the NA error is to use if NA, but it's not available in all versions of Excel. But you can see it works in exactly the same way. All I need to do is just change the function name, if NA. If you have Office 365 with Excel 365, don't use VLOOKUP at all. <laughs> use XLOOKUP instead. I'll show you why. So with XLOOKUP, we have our lookup value, just as we do with VLOOKUP. But the next argument's different. It's not table array, it's lookup array. Lookup array is the column that you're going to be looking for your lookup value in. So that's column A. So fix that. Then I have my return array, so that's the column that I'm going to borrow values from. That's my quantity sold column. I'm going to fix that. Comma. Now here's the trick. XLOOKUP has this non-mandatory argument called if not found. So I can say, instead of showing an NA error, show a blank cell. Close the bracket, press enter, copy it down. No NA errors. And I didn't have to use any other function apart from XLOOKUP to achieve that. So if you have X look up, that's definitely the way to go. Okay, that's all this video is going to cover. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe. But that's all for now. So bye-bye.